guys, I'm back. Still in Florida. I'm going to be hunting a park uh, right outside where my parents live. Uh, I've got quite a lot of land behind me here. There's always kids running around this area, uh, at least according to my dad. Um, had a really great day yesterday at the beach. Found that silver ring. I'll try to show that to you guys after I cleaned it up. It was completely encrusted and tarnished. And it took me a couple hours to get it cleaned up. But uh, yeah, it's definitely silver. It's a silver ring. And uh, there's no markings on the inside of it, so it's handmade and it, it could be pretty old. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll let you know what I, got, what I find here. Uh, it's beautiful weather, absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, the sky's a little cloudy, but right now it's about 82. Uh, and in typical Michigan fashion, <laughs> I got my jeans on, um, but that's okay. It's it's really enjoyable weather and it's great digging. Um, great digging weather. It's not humid at all. So I will let you know what I find. I'm excited. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Okay, first thing I found is this guy right here. I've been finding a ton of these in this area. And this is a serious old bullet. Uh, according to my dad, before this place was built, there used to be some army training that used to go on around here. And uh, specifically, machine gun training. That's a big bullet, <laughs> and it's super heavy. Solid copper. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be finding a lot of these. I dug his backyard this morning, and I found three of these within about a five foot radius. So I have a feeling my pockets are gonna fly for these guys. Out on my uh, 250. I don't know if you see that. We're right between, uh, right under that 10 cent is where those bullets keep coming up. And since I did that, I've been getting a lot less falses. But I just got this guy. Matchbox car. Pretty cool. too is I gotta keep uh, an eye out for fire ants around here because uh they're definitely out when I'm digging. <laughs> I should probably be, be wearing gloves. Neat. Yeah, I got something right under the surface here. Oh yep, yeah, nailed it. <laughs> Can. On to the next. All right, what do we got here? Right under the plug. This is. I have no idea what this is. Huh. Apart from a car or some kind of utility pole or something. Interesting. Couldn't tell you. Man, I just can't get away from these. They are everywhere. It's crazy. Even after notching it out to try to get rid of them. Still picking them up. Now that was unexpected. Look at this guy. Big piece of old farming stuff, I think. Oh, that's huge. Crazy. Okay, just hit something big. Really coming up high on the detector. And it lifted up this whole section of grass here. And it's apparently that, <laughs> where that is. I thought it was a baton at first, but I think it's just a really big, I don't know, spike or something. Crazy. No clue what that is. 
There you go. Well, I thought I had something good here for a second, but just this guy. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Huh. Oh well. Take a look and see what I found at the park. First off, I got this Matchbox car. Pretty cool. It's in great shape. I don't think it's been there that long. Missing a wheel. <laughs> uh, some kind of nut or bolt. Nut, actually. Pretty old. Uh, back to a pin. Fortunately, I couldn't find the pin. Tabs, of course. Look at the bullets here. So this is just three of the bullets I found. I found all in all, I don't know, 20, 30 of them. This one I actually cleaned up a little bit just to show you guys here. It's pretty crazy. Uh, neighbor across the street said it's definitely military. Apparently she knows her things about old bullets. Uh, and then I got these two tokens. Both exactly the same. I like the eagle on them. It's pretty neat. And then I told you guys I'd show you the ring after I cleaned it up, and here it is. Check that out. It's still not perfect. Got some more tarnish on there still, but considering what it looked like before, it's pretty incredible. Pretty gorgeous. I like this one a lot. It's pretty big. So there you go. Just want to say thanks again for watching, guys, and for leaving any comments. I definitely appreciate it. Can't wait to get back metal detecting again in Michigan. Um, still got to wait a few months. It's still pretty snowy, but this was definitely uh, pretty amazing to be able to pack up my detector and check out somewhere new. So until next time, guys, keep on digging. See you soon.